Hello dear students, let's discuss quick solutions. All India Akash Test Series Medical 2020 for OYM and CFHS. Test 04 and code is A and B Physics. The test on 6th of December 2020. Let's go to one by one all the questions. The first question is two photons of the same frequency moving in the same medium must have these are four options, same linear momentum and same wavelength, same linear momentum, same speeds, same energy and same linear momentum, none of these. Now, dear student, remember one thing that linear momentum is a vector quantity. If they are the same frequency, no doubt they have the same wavelength, but lambda h1 mb momentum is a vector quantity. So, they can have the same wavelength but not the linear momentum. Likewise, in all the three we are getting linear momentum. So the answer to this question is none of these. Answer is four. Let's go to the next question. The de Broglie wavelength of a bus moving with speed v is lambda. Some passengers left the bus at a stoppage. Now the bus moves with twice the speed its kinetic energy is found to be twice the initial value, the new de Broglie wavelength will be. Now, dear students, we know that the de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h1p and in relation with the, the kinetic energy h1 to m the kinetic energy e. Now in the second case what happens that when some passenger leave the bus then Kinetic energy is found to be twice. So kinetic energy in the second case is equal to two times the first kinetic energy. Right? And along with this, it's also given that the bus is moving with the double the speed. So there will be different mass. So 1 by 2 mass into the velocity is double to the initial. This will be equal to 2 into half into m into v square. And look at this one. The relation for m dash will be equal to m by 2. Now, therefore, the new wavelength lambda prime will be equal to h upon 2. And the mass is how much? m by 2. And the kinetic energy is how much? 2 times the initial value. And 2 cancel with 2. And you get h upon 2 m e, which is same as the initial value lambda. Therefore, the wavelengths are the same. The correct option is the first answer. So, answer is 1 to this question. Let's move to the next problem. Let's start with the third question. A proton, when accelerated through a potential difference of B volt, has D Broglie wavelength lambda associated with it. An alpha particle, in order to have the same D Broglie wavelength, must be accelerated through the potential difference of a dear student, the wavelength relation lambda is equal to h upon 2m q into v if the potential is given to you. Now, the wavelength of the proton should be equal to the wavelength of the alpha particle. So, h divided by 2, the charge of the proton and potential is equal to the h divided by 2, the mass of the alpha particle, charge of the alpha particle and the potential V prime. Now, if you are equating, then you get H divided by 2, mass of the proton, the charge and potential. Now, this should be equal to H divided by 2, the mass of alpha particle is 4m and the charge is 2q and potential is V dash. Now, if you equate then what you get that v is equal to 8 of v prime. Therefore, v prime should be equal to how much? The v prime is equal to v by 8. Therefore, to answer to question is the first option. So, answer is 1 to this question. Let's go to the fourth question. The monochromatic light incident on a metal surface emits electrons with kinetic energy from 0 to 2.6 electron volt. What is the least energy of the incident photon if the tightly bound electrons need 
4.2 electron bolt to remove. Now dear student, this is given that work function is equal to 4.2 electron volt, right? And the kinetic energy emitted by the particle ranges from 0 to this one. Therefore, the maximum kinetic energy that is equal to 2.6 electron volt. And by Einstein's equation, the energy is equal to work function plus the, the maximum kinetic energy. And how much is it? 4.2 plus 2.6 electron volt. So this become equal to 6.8 electron volt. And let's, let's go to the option. Option number third is 6.8 electron volt. Therefore, answer is the third to this question. Right? The question number five says, the human eye can barely detect a yellow orange light of wavelength 6600 angstrom that delivers 1.5 tennis to minus 18 watt to the retina. How many photons per second does the retina receive? Now, photon per second, you have to find out. Then you know that the power is equal to energy divided by time. Energy is equal to hc by lambda into the number of photons per unit time. So therefore, n by t, you have to determine. And power is given 1.5, 10 is power minus 18. And that should be equal to h h is 6.62 10 is power minus 34 and c is 3 into 10 is power 8 and the lambda is given to you that is given 6600 into 10 is power minus 10 into n by t number of photons per unit time so solve this equation take on this side so n by t that comes to be 5 so 5 photons per second therefore the correct option is answer number 